Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and you must have read the title of the video in today's video I'm going to talk about uh, how would I learn DevOps in today's time if I have to start from scratch. So if you guys don't know me, I have over well almost 13 years of experience now working as a site reliability and DevOps engineer. I mean almost like throughout my career. I work with companies like Salesforce, Intuit, uh, currently working with Autodesk, right? So, I mean, I think I'm in a position to actually comment on this. So I started my career somewhere around 2010, 2011 time frame. Now it's 2023 almost, right? <coughs> so technology has changed in the last 12, 13 years. DevOps, uh, site reliability principles, they have evolved so much in the last uh, last 10 12 years so i just wanted to talk about that if if someone is new who's getting started in devops today how one should go about and learn devops from scratch i mean if i just keep myself in their shoes how would i do it so if i just uh, go to my timeline like when i started my career i would say i was lucky and not so lucky as well because when i started my career devops as a terminology was not very prevalent. I mean, I, I never heard about DevOps when I started my career. I started as a PHP developer and slowly moved to Linux system administration. And that was the position then Linux system administrators, right? There were no DevOps engineers or site reliability engineers. So I started as a Linux system admin, uh, doing most of my work on virtual machines running on VMware, uh, right? deploying applications manually, doing everything manually. Automation was also not that prevalent. The, the most automation that was there was shell scripting. So I was lucky that when I started my career, DevOps was not so prevalent. So I saw the advent of DevOps from very scratch, right? It was, I mean, I have seen DevOps evolving, but not so lucky in the case that uh, the kind of resources and uh, uh, community which is available today uh, it was not there so let's talk about like devops principles today you have laid down written devops principle what devops is right but when i started my career it was not there so now you can actually go and check out search for devops and you have written set of principles like continuous integration deployment automation monitoring all these constitute your, your devops uh, principles and practices but it was not there when I started my career. So in that case, I consider myself unlucky, but lucky that I saw the advent of DevOps, right? So today, if I have to start, I'll probably f focus on the fundamentals, learning the core principles and practices of DevOps. That's, that's how I would start as a fresher. Next is basically, if I talk about the kind of resources available today. So if you go, back to 2010 there was no a cloud guru no linux academy no plurals a plural site must have been there but the kind i mean kind of resources which were available was not there uh, the exposure to cloud right today you have so much exposure to cloud it was not there so resources is one thing which is available in today's time so people who are just starting their career they're very lucky to get, have those kind of resources available at your fingertips you can go and create account in any one of those you not only get theoretical knowledge, but you now also have like uh, hands-on labs, right, in, in these platforms. So you actually get to work hands-on. I mean, for me, when I started my career, the first time I saw AWS, I was working with a client and I had to do, they were running some databases in RDS and I had to do a database upgrade and it was completely like on the live database, hands-on. Uh, using AWS console, so no automation. But today you can do a database upgrades in any one of these platform, practice as much as you want, break things as much as you want. So you have that bandwidth uh, of breaking things, which was not there uh, at, at my time when I started my career. So today I have that leverage that I can make mistake and I can correct them, I can learn them. So that's, that's another thing. Uh, next is uh, what I wanted to talk about is tools. So the kind of the plethora of tools which are available to today, uh, I mean in today's time, it was not there to 10, 12 years back, like Terraform was not there, right? Uh, Docker, 
Kubernetes they were not did I think Docker did their first release in 2012 somewhere around that so yeah containerization was not very prevalent most of the companies they were running their workloads on virtual machines so i mean so i have also seen yeah in that case i've also seen the advent or the growth of containers because i think when i started working with containers mostly the companies they were just testing them out no company was running their production workloads on containers i think it is after like 2017 2018 that companies have started moving their workloads they have got confidence on the containers that they can run their workloads on containers so it's it's happened in last like 4 5 years kubernetes uh, uh, the way the growth the kind of growth kubernetes have seen in last 5 years it has been uh, really amazing right so we were not exposed when we were working as an engineer when we started as a but today i mean someone who passes out from college joins a company uh, and he he's managing the kubernetes workload so from the tools perspective there's a bunch there's a lot of opportunity and there's a lot of uh, resources available to learn these tools like kubernetes terraform like i told i mean you have platforms like uh, a cloud guru linux academy linux academy is shut but yeah a cloud guru plural site <coughs> code cloud so you can just go and create account pay a subscription fee and you can learn all these stuff uh, hands on and that is how i would also do i mean i will not do something special uh, because you have these at your disposal you probably just should follow uh, what what's been written right the next thing i would do is basically uh follow the community so yeah because devops community is great today uh, and you have community for ev- any kind of thing you need like i mean you have a terraform community you have kubernetes community so you st- you get stuck anywhere you have any issues with any of these tags you have great uh, community support so following the community is probably which it was something i mean i never used to do when i started my career it, it has been like last 5 6 years that i have started doing that but initially we because there were no direction when when we started right we were like system admins just manage the linux systems we run a bunch of linux command that's it and if you get stuck you just go and google that stuff <coughs> so community was not something that we were very uh, fond of or we followed but yeah Uh, in today's time community is something that i follow very religiously and that i would suggest anybody who's starting their career that community is following community is very very important and the last point is probably building a devops portfolio i mean when we started uh, even, i mean if if i look at my resume from 10 years or maybe 8 years from now Uh, there was no project details i mean there was no portfolio that i used to demonstrate or the kind of work which i used to because we were doing linux system admin admin work right we were deploying so there was nothing as such to put in our resumes but in today's time portfolio building is very important companies are looking for engineers who are like who have done that been their kind of stuff right so you have been there and you have done that so putting what you've done is very important in your resume portfolio building is very important so you have to build a kind of repo i mean the kind of work you have done done previously it can be related to migrations uh, it can be related to building some uh, technology stack from scratch for a particular client or particular company so you have to build that you have to build portfolio for yourself and and you have to put that in your resume if you want to stay relevant in the job market you have to put that in your resume and that is something which we never did as as i mean as an early engineer i would say we we never did that so probably that's that's what i think uh, how i would take devops today a uh, bunch of resources available so there is no dearth of resources there is no dearth of platform to practice hands on stuff Uh, community is great and then portfolio building so all these stuff i think if you if you follow if you just take it in i think you will become a very great devops engineer so i think that's all i wanted to cover for this video guys i hope you guys like this video uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching